Good evening to everyone. How are you guys doing? We're here at the uh, Sonics actually right now, but um, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna test the um, on route battery warm up feature that was just updated in this car just a few days ago. Um, how this works is that we were supposed to start the um, navigation towards supercharging station. Let's say, let's pick this one for example. And by doing that, the car will now warm the battery up and precondition the battery so that when we get to the supercharging station, it's in an optimal temperature ready to take on the charge. And supposedly Tesla says that this will reduce the charging um, duration by 25%. So um, let's check this out and, and see how it works for us. I'm here with the little guy too. Hey little guy! Hi! Eating. Hey little guy! Hi Lysander! What's up? Hi! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> eating, uh, eating some Sonics there. But um, I haven't seen a uh, video that has a Tesla Model 3 Standard Plus charging at the new supercharging version 2 so I um, thought I'd make that video right now and share the results especially after the new update and see if there's any um, improvement on bat on a uh, supercharging speed okay Let's check that out okay we're now here we're starting off with 15 miles left into this charge and okay. let's check out the so it's we're starting out at to me it looks like there's no difference as far as how fast supercharging works at the beginning it's been um almost two minutes now and it's still stuck to 46 at this point i'm gonna stop the charge because i think this is messed up it's not supposed to be this way so there you go I disconnected I'm getting out of here um, there's another supercharging station actually on that side there's a little bit more I'm gonna go over there and check those out all right two second attempt we're now on the other side okay it's now 1136 <laughs> All right, so we abandoned that Pacific Supercharger because sorry, it was you have dialed, not working not correctly. We're now on to this next one. I have the destination um, pre-set on the navigation, so I'm assuming the precondition um, is occurring right now as we uh, as I filmed this. So by the time we get there, let's see how how fast the uh, the charge. Okay, here we are. Battery, very low. Focus, there you go. It's 11.54 at nine miles left. Sergeant station right here. Let's see if that makes a difference. Oh, golly. There, oh, man. Let's stop at 44 again. So it usually does this, where at first, like, okay, so let's look at the time. Um, 11.55. 11.59, four minutes later, we reached 96, 97, 98. So it's been five minutes now. So it took a while to get to the 100 kilowatt range, by the way. I will just kind of summarize what the testing we've done today. So today I went to two supercharging location for different stations. I'm getting the same results. So I'm just gonna move out from here. Maybe try it on a different day or whatever. But uh, so far after the um, the update, I haven't seen any much improvement from what the update was saying. The preconditioned um, battery warm-up uh, feature. He hasn't hasn't made any improvements on initial startup of charging. So yeah, there's no improvement there. Hoping for perhaps on uh, a different day in a different setting, um, we'll get there. But not tonight. Um, navigation to a uh, supercharging station. Picking this one. This one just opened up recently, the past few days. That Holiday Inn. And let's see if this uh, battery warm up works. Look at this. The new 
supercharging station. Now your destination is on the left. Let's pick uh, this charger right there. Okay, I'm now here at the station at the Marriott Fairfield Napa Courtyard, whatever. <laughs> um, yeah, I just I just got here, so let's uh, plug it in. Oh, that seems hot. Plugged up, and let's see the progression of charge. Starting to charge, it's 5:04. Okay, things looking good. This good lady's gonna park right near me. Fifty-six, fifty-seven, sixty-three, sixty-eight. So we start off at what thirty, thirty-two miles. 31 actually so it worked so we're now I've only plugged in about a minute ago and we're already at maximum um, maximum uh, speed of 104 or 105 so we've already reached 104 kilowatt and it's only been a minute since plugging it in so I would have to say that it's a success um, as of now um, what is it it's a Sunday May 19 and from testing this uh, battery warm-up feature um, it seems to work before in the past it took about three minutes to four minutes almost to get to maximum 100 and 100 and plus um, kilowatt but uh, with this test it only took a minute before hitting um, the maximum um, speed of this battery so yeah you can see in the real world uh, real world testing that it works properly I forgot to mention we are in a standard range plus plus with a version or 12.1.2 version 9 so so far pretty cool pretty cool to see that it's working properly excellent thank you Tesla here at the Marriott there's a charging station right here. Um, as you can see, we had about uh, five uh, cars plugged in right now. And so even with that much people plugged in, the speed was still, you know, this still pretty fast uh, at its maximum um, speed for this car. So let's take a look again. The progress. So the progress so far, 104, 105, 64 miles already. We've gathered 20, 33 miles and about almost two dollars. And it's been um, five minutes and charging. All right, guys. So if you like the video, please spam that like button, comment, and subscribe on the video. More videos coming up, so do subscribe, and I'll see you in the future updates. I also want would like to say that the federal tax rebate is about to be cut in half by July, so make your order now on a Tesla before that is reduced. And if you order before the end of May, you will also get a free $300 value, 5,000 miles free supercharging by using a referral link on the bottom. Um, yeah, consider using that if, you, uh, if you're looking into getting one of these cars. All right, so yeah, thanks for watching again and uh, more spam content and uh, for more videos coming soon, just stay tuned. Hey guys, don't miss my other video. It's called Will Costco Shopping and Stroller Fit in the Cargo Tesla Model 3? It's a fun little video just like this one, so don't miss it. The link is right right here for you guys. Check it out. Subscribe and I'll see you again in the upcoming videos. Enjoy your Tesla. I'll see you again.